Labor Day weekend, you can have an extra reason to pull out the grill. Today is National Baby Back Ribs Day. Baby Back, Baby Back Ribs. The grilling experts at Salt Creek Grill have uh, tips to make the most of our cookout. Joining us today is managing partner Sri Dival. Thank you for being here. Uh, we are just like mesmerized by what you got going on here. I thought that was a mountain of rocks in front of her when I first saw it. I was like, oh, some it, like cool outdoor structure. No, that's. Yeah, what do you have there in front of you? It is even better than rocks, I guarantee you. So we have a baby back ribs, whole chickens, tomahawks, which are an incredible <laughs> piece of meat. We have porterhouses, cornbread. We have pork loins. You name it, we wow. got it. We're ready to grill. Wow. That tomahawk is bigger than her. Yeah, amazing. So it you is. have some real tips about preparing uh, the meat before you put it on the grill. Talk about that. We do, so definitely. So when, you know, everyone's outside, it's a great weekend. So a few tips for that home griller that we wanted to bring to you today. So um, first of all, take that meat out of the refrigerator. Take it out about 20 minutes before you put it on that grill. Um, just let it rest a little bit, kind of get a little bit more ambient temperature. And then you're going to want to turn that heat up on the grill. You want that grill hot, 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 so you can sear in those juices and really lock and get those beautiful grill marks and that beautiful kind of crust on the outside of your meat. And since it is, you know, happy baby back rib day, what goes into the perfect rack of ribs specifically? I'm gonna give you a little insider tip. So baby back ribs are beautiful. It's a two-step process, really. So what we like to do is we like to take our rack of ribs and then this is for the home griller as well. Wrap that rack of ribs in applewood smoked bacon. So then that bacon really permeates the rib meat. So slow roast that in your oven at about 300 degrees for two and a half hours, and then keep it at room temperature. When your guests are ready to eat, that's the time that you really put those ribs on the grill. Just give it a little kiss from the smoke, douse in barbecue sauce, and you have the perfect rack of ribs. All right, and how do we get the perfect barbecue sauce? Oh, barbecue sauce. You want to look for three things in barbecue sauce. There's a million really good ones out there. Trader Joe's has a great bottle. Um, Stubbs is a great product as well. And um, what you want to look for in every great barbecue sauce is really three different flavors. So you want to look for your sweet. Make sure it has maple syrup. Make sure it has honey, brown sugar. Those are really important to a great barbecue sauce. And then you want that vinegar, whether it's apple cider or balsamic, that's going to add that tang. And then of course the smoke. You wanna go easy on a smoked barbecue sauce though, especially if picking it up at the grocery store because that grill is gonna create a lot of that smoke flavor. So look for sweet, look for tang, really great. We heard you have a secret ingredient. What is it? <laughs> oh, so our secret ingredients, we finish our steaks at Salt Creek Grill with a compound butter. So what a compound butter is, is it's a whipped butter. So we actually whip the butter to create air inside the butter room temperature then we add fresh ingredients like garlic rosemary salt and pepper and then when the steak is pulled off the grill we actually just lay a dollop of butter over the steak oh. and then that finishes the steak so beautifully it's really wonderful okay i'm sorry Sri. this is like torture you're torturing <laughs> us right now okay so you also we'll have send it to the studio i know soon we really hope soon that you'll be able to join us live and in person so uh rec you have some recommendations for a hot labor day cookout a lot of people are worried it's going to be so hot and then you're in front of a grill as well what are your recommendations for that for me for being yeah. in front of the grill absolutely yeah. so always have a cocktail a refreshment have that ready really close to you always i suggest always grow by a pool just make sure you do that but you'll always have, you want your cocktail or your refreshment, ice cold beer, even water, even, you know, a lavender lemonade or something to accompany any barbecue is just wonderful. So have that on hand for you for sure. A nice chilled rosé, something like that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, bye -bye. Perfect. Uh, but, but what sides go great with a steak? Are we thinking something like potatoes or what, what's a perfect side? Potatoes are a classic pairing for sure. What we like to do is our peach salad. So the meat itself is going to have a lot of flavor to it. It's going to have um, a richness to it. So we like to cut that with some acidity. So uh, a peach salad is beautiful. So you take those peaches, your grill's hot, put the peaches right on that grill, just take them off real quick, add some balsamic, arugula, little bit of feta cheese. It's a really beautiful, uh, it accompanies any steak, any meat. It's a really great acidic break for um, a lot of the meats. I would have not have thought that. I know, right? <laughs> Good stuff. It's so, delicious. If you were going to dig into something in front of you, what would you go for? 
Can I do it? Can I use my hands? Please, Can I do please, it? Please, all please. you. <gasps> yeah. Oh, the tomahawk. My, are you kidding me? Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. Chef out did himself today. I will tell you that. He's been grilling and he, I mean, such a beautiful cut of meat. They are all just delicious. It's for royalty for sure. Well, yeah. that, that, that's for you. That, that tomahawk is yours. You claimed it. What yeah, no doubt about it. So much fun. Thank you very much. Salt Creek Grill is located in Dana Point. For the menu, for the location, all the information that you need, just head to Salt Creek Grill. Dot com. My mouth is watering. Yeah, we'll get some to eat real quick. <laughs> All right, we will be right back.